talk about money. How about that? Hey, how would you like to have 12 million bucks in your retirement account? Okay, now that I have your attention, Stuart Welch from the Welch Group is here to explain the Roth IRA strategy to get there. Now, first, that was a bit of a misleading headline, which we'll explain in a moment. But let's start off with this. Why is investing in a Roth IRA uh, a good investment strategy? So, Mike, anytime you can put something in, uh, in an investment vehicle and it grows tax deferred, that's generally a good idea. Mm -hmm. But if you can do that and get it out tax free mm -hmm. during retirement, that's an exceptional deal. And that essentially is what, is, what a Roth IRA is. Okay, and so for example, uh, as I alluded to, the $12 million you can have for retirement. So this is actually a real possibility. Someone starts at age 25. Okay. Uh, so first of all, you can put in dollar for dollar into a Roth IRA, your earned income up to 5,500. And if you're over 50, you can put in an extra thousand dollars. But if you're 25, you put in $5,500 and you put it in every year until age 70. Mm -hmm. So you never increase it, but you put it in, you're in 7% at age 70. You can't keep putting into a Roth IRA, but you leave it there and you assume that you're going to just, it's the last bucket of money you're going to touch because okay. it's so valuable and you leave it there. And when you die at age 100, it's still there, <laughs> $12 million. Just think if you were Methuselah, you'd really have a lot of money. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But so, so what are what, what, what are some of the parameters, uh, things people need to keep in mind if they want to open a, a Roth IRA? Well, I think the first thing is, is that if you have earned income, you can do a Roth IRA. Uh, again, dollar for dollar up to 5500 If you make too much money, if you're a high income earner, you actually get phased out. So in a joint return, it's 189000 You begin to get phased out to 199000 You're fully phased out. Okay. Single filers, 120 to 135 but here's the cool thing. There's a strategy, little known. So this is the big takeaway. The okay. little known strategy is the backdoor Roth IRA. Okay, what's and that? it's a two-step process. So the first thing you do is you invest, and I know you and I were talking about, you invest in a non-deductible IRA. Okay. And there's no income limitations on that. So the first thing you do is you put your 5,500 in there and then you convert it to a Roth IRA and there's no income limitations on that. So that's how you get there. And there's one caveat. If you already have an IRA, they make you prorate, a deductible IRA, they make you prorate that for ta income tax purposes. So I was telling you, because I know you had a personal IRA, you take that personal IRA, you roll it up into your 401k so you kind of get rid of it. Okay. And then the next tax year, you start this backdoor uh, Roth IRA. And I've been doing this for years, and actually, it's accumulated quite a bit of money. Well, good. Well, that, that's some strategy from folks out there. Hopefully, that makes you independently wealthy when you're 100 years old. No. Yeah, that's well. <laughs> Stuart, thank that's you so a, thank much. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate that. that.